strict uh, rules on pickup. Pickup is immediately following the sale and up to Wednesday. After Wednesday, your things are removed at your expense to a storage choice, a storage UPS storage house. And on that note, uh, we'll start the sale. Uh, with lot number one. I got 75. 75 dollars on the globe, 100 and go. 75 and now 100. 75 selling on the globe, 100 is next. On the internet at 75 dollars. Any advance selling on the internet at 75 dollars. So Rob and I are brothers uh, back in the uh, early 80s. I started late 70s, early 80s. I think I gave Rob a birthday present of a partnership. He was he was in the antique business and I was just doing other things and he said, why don't you come into the city work and I think you'll like the business. Rob and I are a dynamic duo. I mean, we are. They were two completely opposites growing up, and we work so well together. Rob is the glue. He keeps together what I consider, I, I consider myself, I guess, some sort of crazy artist, because it's, I really, uh, I, I visualize all these things in place, but I can't get any of them in place without Robert, and I, I get very passionate, and I get very um, excited and uptight about it, and Robert seems to get these... I come up with a project idea, I think, in the back of my head, and somehow it comes to reality, and we sit here 42 years later, and we're, at, we're on a roll. 175, 75, 75 and now two. 175 is here, 200 is next. With William, 200 is best, down through and quarter. 200 down quarter, now a half. We ask, how, what do people think? When they come in and they see our whole family here, I think they bid completely differently. I think they have a completely different level of appreciation. They certainly have an understanding that we mean what we say, that our name is on the business. It's rolling, it's not AAA auctions. And I, I, I think there's a problem. They know they're speaking to somebody who's gonna fix it. And even if it's not a roll in, the employees understand that we're a lot of family and the dynamic is different because we are a family organization. You know, we're careful, you know, when we're gonna say something, it's we're gonna deliver. Or we make our best attempt to make sure we deliver. Or we take it back. Right. But just in general, you know, when you say something to somebody and it happens and they, you know, I, I've had phone calls. People say to me, I'm, I'm very happy an owner's getting on the phone. I've had it many times. I'm happy. I can't believe I'm talking to an owner. So that's, when they say it one time, it just resonates how much work we put into something. And then you get a compliment like that because, you know, let's face it, without them, we're going to close our doors. And, and the fact they keep coming, like you said, and as a recommendation, we don't do a great deal of advertising. It's a lot of word of mouth and people just watching what we, we do. And uh, you know, sometimes there's a hiccup and you just make it right, right by the people. And we do. So the people we hire have to be, when interviewed, made aware that it's difficult to deal with family. And uh, you, know, you have to almost read books about how to make family business work and not ruin your family and have the employees be happy at the same time. And you know, it's, it's, we got great people. We ask more of them. We ask them to stay later, which is unheard of. We ask them to work Saturdays. But today, in this day and age, does anybody want to work Saturday? Not really. People want to, they want to get out. They, they get to have, right? They get to have life. And, uh, and one of our employees, he doesn't want to be on camera, uh, Mr. Burnett, but he, does, he was business since 1990. And one day we were having a meeting, just the three of us, and we were just kind of having an organizational meeting and we broke apart together and he was walking away from me. He said, okay, the meeting is over. And he stopped and turned around and said, listen, we've come a long way. I will come a long way with you guys. Don't ever go backwards. I want to see this thing. And I think frankly, he pushed us to go back into the auction world. So. Let me ask you a question. If you were going to suggest to somebody where to buy an auction in Greenwich Village, where would you send them? Right here. Where? Uh, Roland, Roland Auctions, New York, 80 East 11th Street. Well, 799 broader, whichever way. I think we've got a sale starting. We do. We have a we sale welcome starting. Welcome you into the sale. Come on, see how it works.